Hey guys it's Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another cleaning motivation video and thank you so much for clicking on this video in today's video guys I'm gonna be tackling my kitchen and my living room so stay tuned guys I hope you're gonna get tons and tons of cleaning motivation so let's get started So most of the time guys I usually clean my kitchen before I go to bed but the previous night I was feeling extremely exhausted so I just said you know what let me go get some rest I'll see it in the morning so that is why my kitchen is in such a state but anyway we gotta get this uh, fixed I'm clearing my countertops as you know by now guys I like to first clear my countertops and then when I'm done I'm gonna move over to something else and um it makes easy you guys because you know you don't want to start washing your dishes and then when you turn your back you notice oh i forgot something you know lying around on top of the countertops that's why i prefer to clear my countertops first and it actually shows me where exactly i'm going so when the other side is nice and clean i can move over to that side uh for the sink and all that so i don't know tell me all the comments down below or how do you clean your kitchen do you start by washing the dishes move over to the other side or you do exactly the way i do it So I recently bought this uh, set. It's actually not a set. I bought it separately, but I liked it because it's matching. Uh, it's from Checkers, you guys. This was very affordable. I think it, in total it was less than 600 rand. It does the job. So I'm not too concerned about the brand or anything. I just liked the colors and it was affordable. So for my stove, I'm using Handy Andy Cream Cleaner. It's a lemon scent. I love how it smells, you guys. It leaves my kitchen smelling so fresh. And then for my countertops, I'm using my kitchen spray from Mr. Sheen, which is uh, in citrus scent. I love citrus scents, you guys. So that is what I'm using.
so now that i'm done clearing my countertops and giving them a good wipe i'm gonna jump into my lower cabinet doors i could see they really needed some love dark colors they actually show dead than i think the white ones correct me if i'm wrong but i used to see when i had my white cabinets you know you can go for some time without even noticing that it needs to be wiped down but these ones any drip or any splash or smudge you can actually pick it up so i wipe my uh, cabinets almost two or three times a week so this is what i'm doing i'm using the same spray from a mr sheen Now it's time for me to offload my dishwasher uh, then when I'm done guys I'm gonna take my filters out and give them a good wash I could see they needed some love I do this about three to four times a month and then I'm gonna give my dishwasher a good wipe down using my kitchen spray as well tell me guys down below are you into hand washing your dishes or you are just like me you know i like things that make life so easy so i just throw everything i hate hand washing my dishes but anyway i'm forced to do so sometimes especially for the pots because they take so much space in the dishwashing machine so instead of uh, doing two loads so i'm forced to <laughs> or hand wash them but anyway life goes on so right now this is what i'm doing right there i'm washing all the pieces that i took out of the dishwasher i'm sorry for what i have put you through i still have you on my mind been drifting away from you just wasn't our time to all my new subscribers welcome 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 thank you for joining the family my name is Goku. i'm a mom and a housewife i enjoy creating content i do cooking inspiration cleaning motivation and a little bit of lifestyle and holes here and there so i hope you consider subscribing if you haven't anyway thank you so much for clicking on my video today don't forget to like comment and share when you're done watching
but you never call me. And then I see you on the street, said your heart just skipped a beat, and that you miss me. It's always the same story with you, but I just cannot refuse you. I'm sad. is the exciting part because i know that i'm almost done so um I, I i always get excited when it's time for me to mop my kitchen because i know I'm, I'm almost done so anyway this is the after i've cleaned my kitchen it looks so good because it smells so amazing everything is nice and shiny as you saw my fridge no fingerprints nothing my <laughs> dishwasher and the sink is nice and shiny so for mopping my floors i use thai cleaner cream cleaner handy handy and a little bit of bleach to kill all the germs on the floor so once i'm done here guys i'm gonna move over to my living room Thank 
so here in the living room i'm just straightening up uh some things here you know picking up things that were lying around on the couches and on the floor and fluffing my pillows and making sure there is nothing on the couches like you know some crumbs and all the funny stuff so once i'm done i'm gonna be vacuuming and mopping the other side of the floors and then move over to dusting all the furniture around the living room i hope you guys like my new living room it's small but anyway i'm so happy i love i love i love it and i decided to change my scatter cushions i don't know what you think about this uh bent orange color blend it with my royal blue tell me down below um, i'm still deciding on which colors to go for but anyway for now i'm gonna go for these ones so now i'm vacuuming my carpet it, it's it's not really that dirty you know but anyway you need to tidy up things and all that so once i'm done there i'm gonna move over to wiping down my dining table and all the furniture around and as for the layout i'm still i don't know guys tell me is is my dining table fine where it is or i need to swap it with the couches i once uh, moved my dining to where this smaller couch is but it was taking up all the space it was it was very difficult to move around you know but anyway we'll see okay <laughs> i'll eventually see the perfect uh design or oh, I've added a sliding door as you can see right over there guys we've extended just a little bit I think it was only by two meters or so but anyway it makes a huge difference now it looks a little bit special we are still in the process of renovating guys so stay tuned for all that I'm still trying to save the money to open up my dining room and make it a uh, nice and spacious so for my table right there i'm using my clear view spray from mr sheen just for that small part where there is a glass and then for the rest of the table i'm just gonna go with my micro fiber cloth i'm still trying to find a perfect spray for this table guys i've tried i think about three products and i'm still not satisfied because after wiping it down you can see some um lines and streaks and all that funny stuff which i don't like so for today i'm just gonna give it a good wipe using a clean dry microfiber cloth So I've added a few pieces in my living room like that mirror over there above my flower corner I don't know what you can call it but that mirror was supposed to go above my console but unfortunately there's uh, that box for the 
for the electricity so i could not uh put it there so anyway i'll see i'm still deciding on where to put it but for now um i've decided to put those small mirrors just above my console table i hope it works and i hope it's not that too <laughs> funny anyway i'm i'm open for suggestions guys you can tell me where exactly to put it i can swap things around my house i'm open anyway for any suggestions so i think this is uh gonna be the end of my cleaning motivation thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for cleaning along with me if you were cleaning along with me don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below share and subscribe if you haven't till next time uh the next video coming up it should be my christmas decoration video so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching bye My tattoos is a remedy, remedy, remedy Yeah.